Hello, I'm Carrie, and welcome to my esthetician journey. I, like many people, were furloughed in 2020 and kind of lost focus on how I was gonna earn money, what I was gonna do with my life, and I had done a lot of things in customer service, I'd been a bed assistant, I'd worked on, in a studio on commercials, so I had that customer service background. And my mom said to me one day, she said, why don't you consider becoming an esthetician? And I thought, I'd never thought of that. I mean, I'm aware of the beauty industry and cosmetology and everything like that. And so I, I Googled it and I thought, well, that does sound like something I could do, the fact that you do it one-on-one, -on -one, do massaging and waxing and other services. I thought, this is something I could do. So I started talking to people I knew in the beauty industry. I talked to my mom some more and I started calling schools. And some of the things that I found was some schools were still offering classes online. And I thought, wow, that'd be interesting. I, you know, me and the computer have become best friends. So I thought, well, I could do that. But then I thought, wait a minute, reality check. Um, you need to do massages, facial massages, and waxing and other services in person and learn makeup in person. So I found a local school. Uh, they don't allow photography while I'm there, so that's okay. I'm gonna talk about it through this video. But um, it's been interesting for me, and one of the hardest things for me was the sound level. I hadn't been in a classroom in a few years. I did go to school um, a while back. I've been to college a couple times. And I love going to school, but I didn't think that going to school could ever be like being in a beauty salon, you know, where people are talking about different things in their life and there's all sorts of cross-talking and there's just a lot, a lot going on. And since 2020, I've been pretty quiet. I have a presence online and stuff like that, but I've pretty much not done a lot of things that were noisy. So that was a challenge for me. So I had to check myself because it was slowing me down in learning how to do facial massage. Now I've kind of checked myself. I've realized the focus should be on me and my learning and just try to tune out the drama because there's a lot of it there. That's a beauty school thing apparently, and that's okay. I mean. I think I can be a really good spa esthetician because I'm a quiet person. I like peaceful. I'm excited to work with people in their skin care and taking care of themselves and uh, doing makeup. I've always liked makeup, but I never thought I could be in this industry because I'm not a beauty queen. Um, but I think I can do it. I'm a little older, but I don't think that's going to slow me down. I mean, I'm really excited to see where this will take me. I have several more months of school before I can take the state board but it's very exciting and I'm learning a lot of new words and one of the words you'll find on products and it is non-comedogenic meaning that it won't clog your pores and that's a really important thing I saw that for years and didn't know what it meant so there's so much terminology which is both in the beauty industry and medical ter terminology that you have to learn but I think that it's a very interesting career that can be very fulfilling. If you're interested in knowing the schools that I talked to and emailed, please leave me a message and I'll get back to you. But I wanna give everybody hope who's considering going back to school. You can do it. It's not always easy, but I think ultimately it's very fulfilling and I feel like I can finally get somewhere and my dream is to work at a really nice spa and help people with their skincare. So next time I'm going to talk more about the terminology of the industry, but I want to thank you for watching.